YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with my Project Polish update. We are one year in, and I have finished four nail polishes, but that's four more than I would have finished without putting anything in a project, so this is still a success. I am going to continue this year with the polishes that I have. I would actually eventually maybe like to fill up this nail wheel with finished polishes. This means I might be doing it for five years if I go that at the rate I'm going though. But I will show you what I have finished so far. I figured one year in I should we should review the old ones. And I will show you what is currently in here. So the four that I finished, first off, I finished these two in the same month. This is the Deborah Lipman polish in Mermaid's Dream. This is just a little miniature. I know it looks like there's still a little bit of polish in there, but trust me, it, I can't get anything else out. And I actually used this to paint a jar just because I was kind of sick of looking at it. <laughs> this is the OPI nail polish in Stolen Kisses. This is actually a really old polish. I found it at my mom's house when I took my, vanity, my old vanity from there. I found this on the inside of it, so I had no idea how old it was. Let's see, this is a MAC polish. This is in mean and green and this is how i learned that i do not like mac polishes the this always took at least like three coats it is a gorgeous color don't get me wrong but the, the their nail polish formula to me is not very good but i came back to mac this so that's great and what i finished up in november i finally finished one of my sassy and chic polishes uh, last time I was like up to there and then I finished off what I could get of the rest. These brushes don't go all the way down and I could only get so much by like rolling it around and everything so I just decided to call it done. But that is one more that is not in my collection. So let's go over what do we have left and I did add another one to replace that blue one. So this is probably gonna be the next one to go. This is my other sassy and chic nail polish. Last time it was up to here, now it is down to here, so I only used it twice in the past two months. I only used all of these but the new one twice actually. Here is my little sheet that I make up of this. that I, I got this from somebody off of Instagram where they actually keep track of all the polishes that they use. And I used one, two, no wait, one, two, three, four, five. I technically used seven other polishes, but two of them were actually with polishes in here. And one of them was on my toes, so only like four polishes actually made it onto my nails in the last two months that were not part of this project. So let's see. Next, I have the Formula X in Invincible. So it didn't move too much, like I tried to make the line, it was literally like right under where the last one was. So that's where it was last time, this is where it was this time. This polish is about halfway done. But this polish is actually hard for me to wear because it is, because of the color, it is a, and because of my crappy nails, honestly, it is a little bit streaky. But I actually top it with a glitter and it works fine that way because then you don't see as much of the streaking. Let's see, here is my SC nail polish and for the toll of it, and even though I've used it twice, like I'm wearing it right here, it doesn't seem to have moved from the last couple of things. This doesn't move very much and this is like the one huge size of nail polish in here. This is 0.46 flowing ounces. It is definitely, SC polishes are definitely huge. I don't have too many of them, thank goodness. But I have a lot. I have enough and yeah I accidentally stuck my hand in some nail polish earlier so sorry about that. And I mentioned last time that I was going to add a red nail polish but I hadn't thought of what it was. I decided to add this little ruffian polish that I got in Birchbox. Let's see, it started off up here, like I had only used it once, and using it two more times, I have gotten it down to here. I thought this was really pretty for the Christmas season. I even wore like a silver glitter as a accent nail one time with it. It's actually the Formula X Revolution. Let me grab my thing, because I do like put down all the ones that I use. Let's see, this is what I wore with it, what my finger is pointing at. And yeah, I totally wore another red nail polish because I had gotten it in a mystery bag. But yeah, that was a really pretty look. And finally, the one that I added, I have a pretty big selection of Julep nail polishes because I do, or I technically did, receive the Julep Maven box for like a year. 
I'm still technically a member, but I just hit skip every month right now because nothing's really been interesting to me the last couple of months. So I decided to pick a Julep nail polish because a bunch of people who have done this have said that they are pretty easy to go through. And considering I can't find like an actual, you know, amount on here anywhere, but they are really small for a full size. So this is Eliana. And this is where we are starting, right here. I've only worn this once, but then I had to do a swatch and then I stuck my arm on the swatch. So that is where it ended up. This is the swatch right here. This is like three coats and it is still not perfectly opaque. So I think I will actually be able to go through this fairly quickly. And who knows, I might fill up the rest of these with julep polishes if I wind up going through it pretty quickly. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I really appreciate it. I will make sure to link my previous updates down below so that you can follow with me from the start if you're a newer subscriber. But hopefully I will see you guys later. Bye.